Although the screw propeller had been added to an engine, steam engine, as early as the 18th century in Birmingham, England, by James Watt, boats powered by a petrol engine only came about in the later part of the 19th century with the invention of the internal combustion engine. The earliest boat to be powered by a petrol engine was tested on the Necker River by Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach in 1886, when they tested their new, longcase clock, engine. It had been constructed in the former greenhouse, converted into a workshop, in Daimler's backyard. The first public display took place on the Waldsee in Cannstatt, today a suburb of Stuttgart, at the end of that year. The engine of this boat had a single cylinder of one horsepower. Daimler's second launch in 1887 had a second cylinder positioned at an angle of 15 degrees to the first one, and was known as the V-Type. The first successful motor boat was designed by the Priestman brothers in Hull, England, under the direction of William Dent Priestman. The company began trials of their first motorboat in 1888. The engine was powered with kerosene and used an innovative high-tension, high-voltage ignition system. The company was the first to begin large-scale production of the motor boat, and by 1890, Priestman's boats were successfully being used for towing goods along canals. Another early pioneer was Mr. J.D. Roots, who in 1891 fitted a launch with an internal combustion engine and operated a ferry service between Richmond and Wandsworth along the River Thames during the seasons of 1891 and 1892. The eminent inventor Frederick William Lanchester recognized the potential of the motorboat and over the following 15 years, in collaboration with his brother George, perfected the modern motorboat, or powerboat. Working in the garden of their home in Olton, Warwickshire, they designed and built a river-flat bottomed launch with an advanced high-revving engine that drove via a stern paddle wheel in 1893. In 1897, he produced a second engine similar in design to his previous one but running on benzene at 800 revolutions per minute. The engine drove a reversible propeller. An important part of his new engine was the revolutionary carburetor, for mixing the fuel and air correctly. His invention was known as a wick carburetor, because fuel was drawn into a series of wicks, from where it was vaporized. He patented this invention in 1905. The Daimler company began production of motor boats in 1897 from its manufacturing base in Coventry. The engines had two cylinders and the explosive charge of petroleum and air was ignited by compression into a heated platinum tube. The engine gave about six horsepower. The petrol was fed by air pressure to a large surface carburetor and also an auxiliary tank which supplied the burners for heating the ignition tubes. Reversal of the propeller was effected by means of two bevel friction wheels which engaged with two larger bevel friction wheels, the intermediate shaft being temporarily disconnected for this purpose. It was not until 1901 that a safer apparatus for igniting the fuel with an electric spark was used in motor boats.